Thank you so much for joining me this game edge and we are back in seven days to die and we're doing starvation solo the reason why is because i'm having a lot of problems with 15.1 the world i created that beautiful base everything torn apart half of the city wouldn't show up nulls all the way across having problems recording only thing i can record with properly now is starvation that being said it is a lot of fun so i'm really enjoying starvation let's give it a shot i hope you guys can support it. if you guys do like this and you want to see this and you want a thumbs up Give it the likes, smack the shit out of it. And uh, yeah, you're going to see me suffer for sure. And it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. I can tell you right now. Uh, if you're not sure what the multiplayer is, go and check it out. All right. So the game, well, the seed's going to be Starvation S1, which is capital S1, which is uh, season one. And in case you guys want to follow with me. And again, look in the description if you want to download the Starvation mod. It is a crazy mod. Uh, I'm doing 100. Ooh. I'm going to do 90. 90 minute days, uh, and we're across here. We're going to do 30 days. We're spawning. You see everything here across uh, pretty much the same. Um, I'm not going into warrior mode in this one because it is already incredibly hard. So we're just going to do uh, the regular default settings on Nomad, and which is normal setting. And enemy aggression is normal. Everything's going to keep the same. Daylight length is 18, so it's easier for recording. And it's also just better overall. So, yes, I'm going to start that up right away, and I'll catch you guys inside. All right, day one starvation mod. We are here. We gotta get ourselves going. I fear this without any doubt. If you if you have no clue what starvation mod is, um, it has everything you can think of in nightmares. That's that's all I have to say. Just think of that: spiders, rhinos, wolves, uh, lions, <laughs> NPCs, which is really cool, um, which you don't want to piss off. But yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff, and yeah, that's what we're gonna have to prepare yourself for this is a very crazy so if you are a 70s die fanatic and you're waiting for alpha 16 you find it really boring this is the one you want to download in my opinion i'm having a lot of fun more than i did when i tried a valmod um not this shit on valmod it's very good but this one is absolutely insane insane it is very hard and i tell you now you'll probably bitch and complain and do not go in warrior mode in the first time go and try it out first Take it down a notch. Um, see whether or not you you can handle. It's the animals, not the zombies. You're worried about now. The uh, zombies are the easy part. The animals, the, the bugs. Which you, I'm just listening for. Are fucking nuts. <laughs> All right. So yeah, this is day one. We're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna give our best. And see whether or not we can survive and for how long. Now, this game definitely is trying to kill us. Um, I'm not even deny denying it. What is this? Some salad. All right. Um, new recipes. Salad leaves. Okay. Dog. I can hear him. Wolf. Something. Something that's not very nice. If you haven't seen a single player mode, I, I know that sound. By, I know that sound very well. It, I fear it. All right, we just need uh, what, to craft an axe before it gets itself over here. It uh, does travel very good. It does, so let's, let's get going. Uh, we're going to make ourselves an axe, and then uh, we're going to have to get some more plant fibers. All right, let's get the axe into our inventory. Move this over here. Get this on a hot bar. Let's get some of this stuff out of the way. What's this? Tobacco. All right. And again, this is actually bamboo. We'll be able to use that for fishing if we want to. Uh, I fear that I don't have any use for it right now. Let's, we're using our axe for no reason. There's different kinds of trees here. There's different things you just haven't seen before in this game. And it's quite incredible. We're going to take down the tree completely. Then we'll go for fibers. So we get ourselves close. At the top right, you'll see there's quests. Follow through quests. And it's the best way if you never play this game. If you never play this, you probably want to start off with just regular every day some days to die <laughs> first get to know it and this is yeah this is on pc only and you can actually see a description i'm not um advocating it or not because i mean you have to be careful there's steps to be taken you have to make sure you get rid of the double up on your comment files if you want to play the regular seven days to die on steam there's a couple of processes but it's all there and the, the link it gives you pretty much everything you need to start up and play this it's a different link itself so you don't have to go on steam to play it but it utilizes the actual seven days to die so yeah, that's it yeah, never advocating. It could be, you know, make sure you follow. You could lose your save file if you know it properly. You don't back up your save files and stuff. That is what's needed. Okay. 
you've been warned. But it, that site is really a lot of fun. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. All right, let's do this here. This is clothing. Uh, we're going to do gloves. That. That. Let's craft all these things. We'll let that roll. Now we're just following the quest itself. The quest isn't fast enough for me. To tell you the truth, I'd like to do a whole bunch of stuff first, but we'll let it all kind of pan itself out. Yeah, it's crafting one at a time. We'll get a little more wood, then we'll go after some more rock. Do I have enough rock on me? Yes, I do. Stone, sorry. If I got enough stone, I could craft another axe. And let's go axe. I know it's in favorites. I'm just never good at following that favorite shit. Quest complete. All right, next part of the quest is going to ask you to put this clothes on. There it is. Where? Where? Let's wear everything here. Craft. I like better that hat. Okay, this axe is dead. Scrap. We'll wear this. Scrap you. And put our axe back here. All right, next is going to be a wood club. Let's get that uh, club. Ba -ba. Favorite club it. And there we go. We did it too. That's good. Let's get the club into our inventory. Yeah, that's not going to work to take down a tree. No, brother. And then, yeah, there's also other cool things in this mod. There's actually different kind of weapons. You know, fork kind of knife. Uh, NPCs are going to be walking around. You'll find some NPCs with stories. There's definitely some work to be done on mod. I know there's some issues here, there. Maybe on the animals too, being a little bit too hard to take down. But it makes it for a challenging and smarter thing. There's also crocodiles. Um, there's so much more crafting things to do in this. Again, that's what's great about some of these die too. They allow it open to modders and that's what you want, right? It's a smart thing to do. I need to get some rock. What's that? Backpack, okay. Horses, shrivels, and animals, what is that? Okay, let's wear those. Scrap those. I don't know if I'll get too hot or not, but we can always craft another one of those. Right now, I'll just take any kind of clothes that we can find. We're gonna need arrows anyway soon. We'll craft the craft a bow. Always get ourselves done, and yeah. Just get ourselves ready to go. Now, bow definitely is a favorite too. We we'll craft that up, and then we're gonna do arrows. And craft as many as you can. All right, let's go get some stone. To make sure we can actually do this. All right, and always listening out to any kind of animals. You also be careful, and there's also scorpions in the desert, rattlesnakes. Those wolves are really deadly. They catch a whiff of you, and you're done. Yeah, you can see I'm playing a little different than I usually would. I mean, I don't, not saying that it's easy these seven days to die, but it's definitely a lot easier than this. This is insanity. Now we gotta find ourselves some kind of place to stay, a house, or if we're gonna, we can make our own. Uh, right now it's asking us to get wood frames, so let's get frames up. Frames. And where are you here? Wood frames. Favorite. Let's craft up uh, while we're waiting. Let's just craft them up. It's good for us to go anyways. And we'll take our bow over here. And then we'll load up our bow. Press our loader up. There we go. Uh, I'm going to need to get another axe. Damn it. Axe. Two axes. And then we'll do frames again. Actually, just do star here for frames if we want to. And they're there. If you're curious, let's do uh, 50 for now. It's just I won't have time for crafting. Uh, we need to place those down. So we'll do three frames. One, just make it all happy. Two, three. And then right click and upgrade it. There you go. We're all good to go. That's done for that quest. That's a good thing. Oh man, it is, this is already, I feel the fear and I haven't, you know, we haven't, except for one wolf, seen anything. Scrap. It's a piece of shit, the other one, anyways. This is six, man, not a four. Come on. 
The yeah, tobacco leaves in a lot. You actually have uh, cannabis. You have everything you can think of in this game. Definitely used for different things. If you use it, you'd get addicted to it and you have to go and get some. So be careful not utilizing it. So you want to avoid that. Beautiful. But they have also medicinal, I guess, things that they're going to use these for. I'm not sure. I'm just gathering whatever I can find. Anything I don't understand yet, we'll have to figure out as we go through a crafting table and figuring that out. Right. We'll grab a little more of the, of course, wood. And then we're going to start heading around and looking around. Hopefully, we'll find something. Because right now, the other side has a wolf. So we're going to be careful. Higher ground, probably best to go and check out. I'm looking, there's a hillside over here with an easy Z there. That's awesome. What do we have? Uh, we have 97 rocks. Still not enough. Uh, bed roll. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Got to make sure to put down in our hot bar so if we need to. We can just drop it in case of them. I'm not worried about him very much. Tell you the truth, he's the easiest part of the entire day. Okay, I thought it was so <laughs> freaking crazy. Yeah, we'll, we'll place it down in a second. On right, a chest, damn it. Oh, I missed a complaint. <laughs> I let go of it. Ay, ay, ay. Stop wobbling. There we go. Cool. And I'm going to chop him up because I want to get his bones. His bones are very important to us right now. Give me your bones. There we go. And do recipe. I'm going to make yourself a shiv. Let's craft that. Beautiful. Whew. So welcome to 70s Die Starvation Mode. Mod, not mode, mod. Well, modification of the actual game itself. And it's insane. It's really insane. Get ready. We're going to head over the hill right now. I'm just going to grab the last piece of rock. 142 is a pretty good start. We'll jump off the rotten flesh. And we'll make our way up here. Uh, let's just drop down the better roll and make them all happy. Okay. There we go. We got our quest. I like to keep the bedroll though on the heart bar. So I really need to. I can drop it. I'm not very good at doing it, tell you. I'll be dead honest with you. I've been pretty unlucky with it. Uh, let's scrap you. And let's do axe. Well, the frames are dropping. Why is that? Nothing's running on my system. No, my system's running perfectly fine. I'm looking at it right now. It's nice and smooth. Interesting. All right, we'll grab you. Maybe it's just a whole bunch of shit just spawned in. <laughs> oh, God. 200 spiders just spawned in, Game Edge. What are you going to do? Run. <laughs> run like you've never run before. All right. Hopefully on top of this hill, we're going to see something on the other side of it. If not, we'll just walk around and double check it. Eggs are good. I'd like to find a road or something. That'd be nice. And again, this is random gen and... The seed is when we first started. So if you want to check it out, you can join us on this path. It'd be really cool. I'm sure a couple of you will be doing it. I know a lot of you did download it because you're enjoying it. You've been waiting for something new. And this mod is definitely the mod du jour, as you say in French. The, the mod that you want to get. Uh, more salad. Does it give us any nutrition, this damn salad? I have some fullness, some hydration. If, if you don't take the leaves apart. Okay. It's not horrible. Why not, right? It's salad. I don't understand why the leaves are not doing anything else. I just equip it. What? Oh, I know what it is. It's probably to uh, tame some animals and stuff. But you anything that's something like that. Oh, oh, we found a house. We found a house. We're probably just zombies around, which are going to be easier than animals. Let's craft you. We have to clear that baby up, so 
Yeah, that's gonna be a thing. You're like, Game Edge, why are you hammering everything you've seen? Because when I'm looking, I'm, I'm utilizing the time I have to survive. And I'm looking around, because you want to be careful with the animals. Arrows. And they take a lot, so craft yourself arrows. Definitely getting a steel and getting ourselves into... Oh, some animals here too, good. Um, getting ourselves into um, a forge as soon as possible is very important. Now, a prefab house is not always the best idea. They're unstable in their own way, but it does give you a first night's sleep. That's kind of nice. So we could actually upgrade the outside. That's why I'm actually going for the wood as much as I possibly can. Again, gotta be careful. Thankfully enough, they do make noise when they come near us. All right, we're already at weaponsmithing. We're already up to three. That's because we're doing the arrows at the same time. And then we're going to head out right away. Let's knock down this one last tree. So yeah, you guys excited? I hope you guys are involved. I hope you guys are liking this. If you guys like this, you want to see it. And you're, you know, if this is a game you want to see, hit that like button, please. It helps us know. It really does. You'd be surprised. Why is it so quiet here? No Z's. I I never seen a building with a oh. That's why. We got ourselves a bear. Is that a zombie bear? It looks like it. I don't know. I didn't I got to see him a little closer. It's a little far away from me. Well, it's still doable. We can actually kill him from up top if we really need to. I just want to get as much fiber as we can. And we'll make ourselves a door, too. Door. Just as secure as possible door. I'm just checking out the perimeter at the same time, being careful very gingerly. And we're also going to do another axes. Let's just do two. Oh, well, it's because it's stone, right? I bet you're thinking. We're going to be ginger. I'm very careful. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. All right. Hopefully, this place is pretty decent. Oh, wow. It's so bad that. Okay. I don't see him anywhere. Unlocked. These are our problems when looking at his holes everywhere. Just in case. <laughs> don't trust them whatsoever. And I have no lights or anything else, so unfortunately we're going to have to deal with what we have here. Hopefully we'll find some some stuff here. These things are vicious. I'm just... <laughs> I'm scared to this. Alright, yeah. I know you're angry, brother. But think happy thoughts, please. Think happy thoughts. I'm just going to close off where we can. He's going to get mad in about two seconds. I'll tell you why. We're going to hurt him. But first we're going to put down our bedroll. Oh, good cooking pot. Thank you. That is a good find first night. Definitely. Better find me some water and stuff, but we did find a little bit. Is there anything down here? Still want to fall down here. All right, we got somewhat of a security. There's still a lot to be done. Uh, we'll pick up the candle because we're going to use that. We're going to be staying. Um, yeah. I should here. Through here. Thank you. Uh, 
let's move ourselves to the side a little bit. Excellent. There we go. Instead of break this through, we're going to climb on a roof from here. Make ourselves a little way. This way it's protected and we're, we're pretty safe. Just for now. This is a temporary place to stay. We might end up upgrading. I don't know how it's going to go, but we can't stay here forever. Um, this isn't a place to live. That's going to take a lot longer than I thought. Come on, baby. I forget how it feels like every time we first start. The struggle is real, baby. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Um, we're going to put that over here. Oh, how did I fall over that? What the hell happened there? Am I jammed in? Yeah, I'm jammed. What the hell? This is why I've been having problems with 15.1. Getting to a point where it's getting ridiculous. Come on. There we go. Need our way out. It's it kind of jams in all the time. I don't understand what it is. We just kind of flukely every time I do like nerd polling, it's a big problem. It's a bigger problem. It's okay. We'll get through this. Right here. And up we go. Oh, okay, she's out there. Good stuff. Um, we're going to use the roof. So the roof's going to be here. Here. Don't need anything massive. Just something that's going to hold together here. Okay. And right below it. Perfect. All right. Same time we're upgrading. We're actually getting our construction up, which is exactly what we need anyway. So we have to upgrade these things. Uh, we're going to upgrade one. We're not going to need any more than that because we're only staying here for a little bit. We are going to keep it structurally sound, of course, make it look somewhat nice. It's 12 o'clock, so it gives us at least a little bit of time. We'll just start up at least a part of the base. And it's pretty good because usually this is the toughest part is to find something to start a base with or a place. Usually you start looking, thinking, I'm going to might be digging a hole very shortly, but not here. That we're lucky enough to have found something, so we're going to take advantage of this. Whew. Definitely a little bit longer days. Makes it a little easier. Perfect. I might end up shorting the days afterwards, but we're going to take it easy first. Uh, yeah, here. Here. There. And I'll put that over here. Oh shit, they're starting to mess up with the house here. Sorry if I'm getting quiet because I'm listening for that. I think they sense me somehow. They hear my uh, knocking away. Yeah, they do. She hears me uh, hammering away. I'll do the rest is afterwards. Let's just get the, the bases up here. Uh, here, here. Really don't need to see outside. Just want a roof on our head. There we go. And I can go around and fix that up afterwards. We'll put a roof up. Cool. All right, uh, sleeping bag. And a campfire. Do I have enough rock? I do. Woo! Doggy. And then we're going to do a chest. Put that over here. And we're going to do a chest here. Storage. Oh, what happened there? Skill points. Okay. Um, Loki Trader. So we finished up our main quest. Storage. Favorite. And we'll craft it up so we can drop this off. Oh my god, I'm exhausted already. And we haven't even seen any of the animals yet. 
I'm tired. Because the stress of waiting for them is what's killing me. I'm waiting for them to show up and they will come after us. Okay. Uh, chest must be finished by now. Right here. Beautiful. Yeah, I hear you. I'll sort this out afterwards. And tobacco. Scrap. Can I might keep that for water? I have three water at the boil. Okay, that's good. Okay, so this we'll put over here, make sure I don't lose it. Uh, it's always fun trying to organize your first couple of days of survival. And a candle we'll just put down. Perfect. Um, here, we're just going to drop in some wood. There we go, 125. Actually, the cooking pot should be in there too. Just make sure I don't forget about it. There she is. She stole my inventory. All right, cool. Cooking pot. All right, let's turn around and get ourselves rolling. I'm just going to put this aside because I'm sure I'll find other things. Excellent, dude. Excellent. All right, so I came out to do a little bit of logging. And, um, yeah, I decided to do it off camera, but... There's some weird sounds out here. I think there's a hyena out of here somewhere. I didn't think they were in the game. Now there's there's actually a body right there, so we're wondering where the Zs are. That wasn't me who killed that. There's something attacking something here. Uh, we're gonna check that out in a second. Okay, the axe is broken. Let's build another axe. Wow, okay. So we got all our stuff done on the roof, like you saw. And now I'm out here just trying to get more and more stuff. I was trying to avoid it from on camera all through it, but sometimes, especially with a brand new, um, brand new mod like this, it is really tough to do anything off camera. It's so brand new and so raw and so amazing. We need to go through it all. Let's do club too. Let's bring that up. Club. And actually, we need more feathers just to get ourselves going here. So scrap you. That doesn't sound good. What is that? Luckily enough, I think it's a Z coming. The Zs are good. Animals, very bad. I need to check in a mailbox. I want to do it on camera. There's something going on over there. There's a rhino. Rhino versus a Z. Rhino wins, hands down. Wow. Look at that. Are they going to attack each other again? Is he come back for more? Like, hey, buddy. Seriously, no, he's not. All right, cool. So we have a rhino. And there's a hyena over there. Oh, boy. Yeah, not everywhere. No, everywhere is going to be like this. It's, it's not just this biome where we're going to go, oh, this biome just sucks. Let's move on to the next one. This is going to be tough. I'm not worried about the Z's, like I mentioned. I'm not worried about the Z's whatsoever. Really? No. Um, they're, they're a threat, but not as much as the animals. The animals are 10 times harder, harder to kill and make this extremely challenging. I am going to go and explore the hill here, away from that rhino. I don't mind taking out the Z up here, but he has good bait too. He's... I hear something. Something's coming. We're going to have to upgrade these. I'm feeling that stress right now, that we're going to have some serious problem with some of these animals here. They can bust through this shit very easily. 
I'll try to do as much as I can. See, see, that's where it's really good to actually do these things. You just get the, your construction skill up, and that's what you need anyways for your tools. So you might as well do it. We'll just do a little more here, and I'll do the rest off camera. I know you probably can't jump up here, and but are you really going to risk it? <laughs> what after what I've seen in this game, I am not risking anything. Is that an opening? What the f Okay, that's good. Let's do a little bit here, and I'll do the rest, like I said, afterwards. Whew. Anything to just bust through asses into, that would be the worst. Is there anything in the floorboard here? Yep, there's a purse. Give me a 9mm. Oh, okay, I'll take that. Vitamins are good. First aid kit, even better. Especially in this mode, I'll take it. Uh, we need more wood. Eh? We out of wood? No, we're not out of wood. Okay, well, let me... What the hell? Is the axe... Is the axe broken or something? That is very strange. Why wouldn't let me upgrade this? This doesn't look like it's anywhere close. Oh, I was probably hitting the door. The hitbox on the door was taking over. Okay. Oh no, the pipes right here. Oh, I didn't see those pipes. That's why. I thought it was just burnt that wood. All right, let's go take care of that Z. That's a pleasure to go and take care of. It's nice and quiet. And that means if the Z's around, that means no animals are the current place. So that's really nice. And this is actually missing frame. What is that like? Cobweb? I don't think I've ever seen that before. All right. We'll fix it up afterwards. All right. It's just a Z. All right. Let's go take care of him. Z's are fun. Animals are not. Do they make their way back now or something? All right, let's do press R and bring us back. And actually, we're right now currently going to build a clobber to show this guy. Take out his arm. I can't wait to start building the new weapons and stuff. Here, table's going. For the first night, of course, we're going to be very ginger what we're going to do. All right, he's, uh... I don't think he sees us. No, he doesn't. There we go. Two times. Come on, you little bastard. Oh, God, I missed him. Not that time. All right, well, a pair of pants, a pair of pants. We'll wear that. I'm going to scrap you. Beggars can't be choosers, that's for sure. Okay, we also need some bones and stuff, so that's always good. Actually, we can work on our blade weapon. Didn't I get bones before? Must have. I've got to make a shiv. I thought I'd pick some up on the other body, but I guess not. Okay. Recipes. Bone shiv. Craft. There we go. Perfect. Now, if we get an ammo or something, we got to cook up, which we kind of need right now. Big time. We also need feathers and rock would be really nice so we can craft a knight. That is oh, 126. Boo, so much to do. Yeah, I think I'll leave the episode here, guys. Um, I'm gonna, actually, we'll go around right here just to double check around the area uh, just in case. But I'm going to do the rest of this off camera because this is just arduous to watch at the beginning. And we'll come back on day two. This way, you guys are going to have to deal with me doing this overnight. And even at night, I'm afraid to come out at night. Is that a hyena? I think it is. On the right-hand side over there. I think it is. Shit, <laughs> okay. That's enough to scare shit me right there. I don't think I could take one. one. I've never taken on one, actually. I've taken on everything else, I think, pretty much. But we have not done that yet. So that should be interesting to go. We could try, but I don't think we should be smart if we actually did it. 
Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue doing this, guys. I'm gonna grab as much as I can, stay close to the base. If anything interesting happens, I'll add it to the actual video. If not, we'll be back on day two. And from there, we'll go around and double check it. Right now, I'm just gonna do minor security breach, uh, so sealing of the floors and the back. We probably have to stay for about a couple of nights, maybe even up to day seven. It's very possible until we find ourselves a uh, town or something we feel more comfortable. Uh, we need a bedroll. There is, there is a, a log over there we can go and open up. That'd be good. Uh, there's not really close to water as this place. That's one thing I have to look for. Do we walk by any water holes? I don't think so. Not yet. Yeah, we might have to go and check that out. Let's go and double check that. Did we find any feathers? We did not. All right. Looking on ground, double checking, making sure we can find whatever we can. And we're going to just go and double check on this side before we go. I know I keep on saying we're going to go. Oh, shit. Snake. Now, he's not going to move around too much. That's where I find out he does. Uh, hitbox is bad on this thing. Look at the multiplayer. I don't want to get sick with the venom. We actually need these things for anti-venom later on. But I just want them gone from the area. How's he with a shiv? There we go. The shiv's better. Beautiful. You know, he's not dead. He should be in my inventory. Oh, he's gone. Oh, he's dead with the shiv. All right, cool. I thought he would have come back just like he did before. He used to keep in my inventory. So, obviously, don't shiv his ass. Carcass. Interesting. What would have done that? What wouldn't have done that? Let's let's just go with that. What wouldn't have done that in this area? Okay, we got trees and stuff. We have a rhino down there. Uh, we definitely have a forest on this side, which is kind of nice. I'm hoping to find just a little bit of water bed here. Yeah, don't go too far, brother. There is a deer right over there. We gotta keep our stamina up, so we're gonna be careful. Thanks for destroying my deer hunt. Hey, eh? huh? I'll teach you. Okay, let's eat this baby up. And we'll scrap this. Man, it's you what you hear in my voice right now is just pure fear. Okay? Just pure fear. <laughs> Gotta love it. Makes this game so much better. Arrows. Where do you go? Oh shit. You saw me. Now he's long gone. Damn it. I really need that food. How far did he go? Right over there. Damn it. What is he? Is he running away from a wolf or something? He's going way up that hill for me. Damn it. It's five o'clock too. Oh shit. The crawler is coming at me. Um, we have a can of food. Maybe we can find some yucca in the desert here instead. We'll just survive on that for the night. It's not what primo, but hey, it's something. So we find another deer who is prancing around here. That'd be beautiful, wouldn't it? Just to have one prancing around right now. We got the eggs for it. Got the pan for it. Come on, just show me one more freaking deer. About to say animal, but I don't want any animal <laughs> right now. Choice of words, sir. Choice of words. There's a deer. There's a Z there. I can't believe I missed him. I got him. No, he didn't. The wolf did. Where's that? Oh, the nurse is over there. Just keep my eyes on these chiquitas, bananas. 
over here. All right, let's take care of them. Yeah, I'm smelling because I got food on me. So bottom left, there's a little nose. If you don't know about me already, I do like the melee more than I do arrows, but I'll do the arrows just because it's needed. Well, she looked pissed off, didn't she? Give me nothing? Seriously? Oh, that's a friggin' uh, cactus is taking me up. Walk in there. Thank you. Ah, shit. Son of a bitch. Why does my hitbox seem like... There we go, son of a bitch. All that for nothing, too. Except experience. And exhaustion. Alright, let's get some flower seeds while we're here. And we'll go back and get the carcass before it disappears. Give yourself at least a couple of meat and a high, too, is very helpful. And some... Yeah, everybody smells me now. Now I'm like the number one star of the area. I don't like that sound. We're heading right back for a base right now. We have the food we want. I'll call that for a good night right now. And then the rest I'll do off camera without the food on me. I'm going to head out and go and do some more... Uh, well, getting some stones. And then I have to craft out some axes and stuff. I'm not sure what the sunflower seeds are good for right now. Uh, I'm sure there's some... Oh, shit. There's a snake. Eh? Was that? Oh, it's a scorpion. Look at that. Man, the hitbox are just impossible. I don't want to get stung by this thing, but... I want to see what happens if it explodes. Nothing. Okay. Pretty much sure the blade just destroys him. That's it. We can't take him. Cotton growing desert. I love it. I'm just listening out, guys. I'm just listening. Make sure you're not coming home with something weird. All right. We're good. All right, guys. One last trash can. I'll leave the episode here. I'm going to go inside, drop this off, and I'm going to head back outside to go and do some logging and, of course, some more rocks. Will be needed, and I'll try and fortify the house. And by t well, next day, you guys will be back, and we'll be looking around, exploring, checking out this new area, checking out all the wildlife that's come with us. So thank you so much. I thought I heard something. <laughs> Man, I'm hearing shit. Thank you so much for being here. You guys are absolutely awesome. Again, if you guys like this, hit the like button, right? It helps me knowing if you guys want to see it. This is Ezra Game Edge. I'll catch you guys. On the flip side.